Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll look at dynamic charts in Excel. And as an example of things we can do with charts, I have here my Excel Forex tester, and you can read more about it and download the file and see the code in my blog. But basically, what I want to show you is that we have here several charts. They're all dynamic. We can move in time, for example, with the scroll bar here, or change the view and zoom in or zoom out. And that's all possible by adding some formulas and define names to the chart data range. The names are here. You see, there's a bunch of defined names. Uh, using mostly the offset function, uh, along sometimes with the count functions. And we do not need any macros to do that. We're going to see how to do that in a moment. But then there's other functionality that requires macros, for example, when changing the view, when we zoom in or zoom out, there's a macro linked to the scroll bar that adjusts the level separation. There are also macros linked to the checkboxes here to choose the series that we want to show. And of course, there are also macros to load the data forward here or go back or play the data at a certain speed, which is the purpose of backtesting. And there are macros and user forms to set up a new project, import the data, place an order, etc. But I'm not going to go into that. We'll just talk about charts here. And if you are into trading, this could help you out to test your strategies and analyze the outcome of the trades. And that's what Forex testing is all about. And if you are more serious about trading, I encourage you to try the real deal, the real professional Forex tester which is probably one of the best software out there. You can read more about it in my blog. I'm leaving the link in the description. So let's start on a separate file with some data. And to make it simpler, we just have a column for date and another column with a closing price for euro against the dollar. And that's daily data for a period of time starting in January 2014 up to 2022. And we're just going to have a simple line chart. Before, in Excel Forex Tester, we had the stock chart, this one here, with open, high, low, close. So that's four columns of data. And we had also other charts, line charts mostly. But here in this example, we'll just have a line chart with the closing price. And we can create the chart simply by selecting the data range and here, chart. But that's not dynamic, of course. Dynamic means, well, one of the functionality of a dynamic chart is that it updates when we add more data. We are not going to do that. But if we want to have that, we can do several things. We can convert the data range to a table, for example, and then set the data range of the chart to the table. Then when adding data to the table, the chart is updated automatically. And if you don't want to use a table, we can define some names with formulas, usually offset and count, and then refer to that name in the data range of the chart. And that's what we're going to do, but not to check for new data. Let's say our data set is not going to grow, but we want to display certain data only or move through the data dynamically. For example, we could have a combo to select a particular month and year to show that data. Or we can have a scroll bar to scroll through the data and see how the price of euro against the dollar changes over time. So let's have, for example, a chart that shows the data for the next 10 days, starting on the date we want. So that start date, or let's say data start, is going to be here in cell E2. And let's put one for now. Now we define a name and let's call it price. And well, we don't want to have the whole data here. We just want the next 10 days starting from the value in E2. So we get that with offset from the reference cell here, which is B1, starting a number of rows from that reference specified here in E2. So now it's just one. So it's going to start on the next row. And comma is starting zero columns from the reference, so that's the same column, and comma up to 10 or 20 or let's say 30 rows below, which is approximately one month of data, and comma for just one column. And we have to do the same for the date. So I copy paste the formula and put it here, and let's call it date, 
and change instead of B, it's column A. Then we select the data range of the chart and for the horizontal axis, we replace this range with the defined range date. And here the vertical is going to be price. And as you see, now we have a chart with 30 points. That's about a month because we have daily data. It's starting from the beginning, from the, the, the first point in row two. But if we change this value here, let's say 10 or 20, now it moves. And now the chart is dynamic. Then we can link a scroll bar to that cell here, a scroll bar, format control, and link to E2. And let's say the minimum value is one and the maximum weight. We have 2,665. So the maximum can be that minus 30, 2,635. And now we can move through the data and see the price change over time. Here's 2014, 2015 later, and so on. That shows only 30 points or 30 days because the data is daily. But we may want to zoom in or zoom out the view. So we could add here in cell E3, let's call it data span. And for now it's 30, but let's update the formulas for both price and date. And instead of 30, now we are there, cell E3. Then we link another scroll bar to that cell and say, minimum is 10 and maximum is 365, for example, one year. And we can now zoom in and zoom out the view. So we created a dynamic chart to show the price of euro against dollar over time, where we can select the period and move through the data or the years and all that without macros. That's easy to do in Excel. And that's how we create dashboards in Excel. In the next video, we'll see how to add functionality to dynamic charts with macros. For example, we can modify the labels programmatically if needed to change the size or the separation or the format, etc. We can also choose to show or hide other series. Now we just have one, but in the next video, we will add another series to the chart and then we can see how to hide or show the series with macros. And we will also see how to load the data automatically using macros with timer events. So see you in the next video and thanks for watching.